know, there's many elephants here now. And they're actually eating very quietly too. Normally they make such a noise when they feed. They're not worried about giving their presence away. Unlike the, the antelope species and zebra and all those things, they tend to eat quite quietly. And they are munching on, or you're munching on, buffalo thorn. Oh, how delicious. I think that magpie shrike that we saw was actually sitting on a buffalo thorn too. Hello, Tesla, my dear friend who is seven years old. And you said that, welcome back, Miss Taylor. You know, Tesla, I think you're the only one that calls me Miss, so thank you very much. I don't know, I f you make me feel very old though, and I'm not old. I think I'm the youngest presenter. <laughs> but it's okay, I'll take it. In South Africa, they would call me auntie, and, or, or tani. Tani is an Afrikaans word for aunt. And I, I cringe every time anyone says it, because I feel as though, when I'm only 24, I shouldn't be called auntie or tani. Miss is okay, they'll take Miss though, that's all right. Now, <laughs> these elephants are just really just feeding now. They seem to be quite relaxed. They don't look like they're racing off in any particular direction to go and find water. Obviously, I think the flies are bothering this elephant just slightly. I don't think it's necessarily cooling itself down. Because there is quite a breeze. And it's not opening and closing its ears very well, but maybe it's because there's a stick about to go into its ear canal. Be careful. You don't want to become deaf, elephant. That would be terrible. Look at that sharp stick poking into its ear. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. I think it's actually hooked on there. So there we go. It just shows you the thorns of a buffalo thorn are very tough and even tough enough to hook into the skin of an elephant. There we go. You've managed to loosen it. Now that skin around the ear would be quite sensitive as well, so I can't imagine that would have been too pleasant. But maybe it's a combination of flies and trying to keep yourself nice and cool. But like I said, it's not actually that hot. It's a very pleasant day. It would be like a summer in, in the UK, though. This would be a hot day. Everyone would be at the beach. For us as South Africans, it's actually quite nippy. Megan, what is the temperature now? Is it, it's, what, in the low 70s? It's not, I don't think it could be anything higher than that. 78 absolute lies it cannot be that hot <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's 78 today it definitely feels like it's in the low 20s or maybe it's just because i'm also parked in the shade now that's probably it too but it is quite nice Ali had her jersey on does Ali still have her jersey on megan or has she taken it off because she couldn't quite decide when we we're leaving home whether she'll keep it on or she will just take it off <laughs> Megan is now going to ask Ellie if she's still wearing her jersey. Yes, we were just waiting for the response now because I'll be surprised if she still has it on. Oh, she's taken it off. Okay, that's good. That's that's wonderful because I think it is a bit warm. Now there's another elephant that's just coming up to the top left. I think it's going to come out and into the road, which will be quite nice. We'll get a beautiful view of them. Like I said, they're not in a hurry though. They're, they're quite happily feeding just in this drainage system. It is nice in here. There must be quite a big herd because they're quite spread out. Oh, come on elephants, come towards me. Come and say hello, please. I like the close encounters. Now, obviously, I love to experience elephants up close and in the wild like this. I'm not going to <laughs> um, I'm not going to, of course, touch any of the elephants, and depending on how they react, well, it'll, that'll mean we'll either stay with them, stay up nice and close, or we'll just move them away, give them space. But they haven't shown any sort of threat signs just yet. Now, I believe you're all calling me Auntie Taylor now. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. At least that's not Tunny Taylor, because that's just, that's too much alliteration. Hello, little elephant. Now a question from our young lass, Tesla. And you were wondering, don't the thorns hurt the elephant's mouth? Well, Tesla, this elephant now is, is moved away from the very prickly bushes that it was eating. It's eating a bush willow now, which is nice and soft. There's no thorns in this leaves. But elephants have got very, very tough and thick skin and they get used to the prickles that are on the trees. So no, not necessarily. Sometimes what happens though, I think they put a branch in their mouth and they put it in the wrong spot and a thorn can hook on its tongue or, on, or just on the inside of its mouth, just as that thorn hooked on, 
I'm back now, on the ear of that elephant a moment ago. And then you see them put their trunks in and they just sort of reposition their food a little bit, sort of that way, a little bit back that way again, and then they crunch down and it, and it doesn't seem to bother them too much. But the little elephants definitely do struggle. You see that they're still trying to get used to the prickles. Are you going to cross on the road in front of us? I'm now trying to be polite and just going to see if this elephant would like to cross first before we reposition. It is a young bull, so it's not that one's mom. So I wouldn't be worried of putting myself in between those two elephants. He wouldn't be too bothered about it, but he is also at the age now where, well, he's going to try and challenge us. He's hanging towards the end of the herd. The female's not going to be tolerating him as much because they become quite boisterous. Hello, boy. You're not going to give us any fun and games? Not going to tease us or shake your head? He's actually giving us a wide berth. You can see that. That's walking across, just smelling us as he walked past, turning his trunk towards us. Right, that means we can go. No more elephants to cross the road. We'll go up a little bit further. Now, this is the tricky part. They actually seem to be, seem to be going that way. I wonder where they're going to go.